absolutely there is there is hope with liposuction surgery. And as you all know, uh, lipedema, unfortunately, is a progressive condition that tends to get worse as time goes on. It's definitely better to try to take care of it earlier on and to not wait for it to get into its later stages. That said, um, I do a lot of patients who are late stage two, stage three, even later stage three, stage four. To me, the important factor is uh, how healthy that tissue is where I'm doing liposuction surgery. As the process goes on and there is more inflammation and fibrotic change to the tissue, um, there is a greater potential for it becoming lipolymphedema and the tissue becoming unhealthy. When I evaluate somebody and their calves and ankles, let's say, are, are, are bright red and very firm, that to me is, is concern. And a patient like that, I'm not going to go ahead and start doing liposuction on them right away until that tissue becomes healthier. And many times that patient, I'm going to be doing pre-compression pump therapy to get that tissue healthier and then approach those areas. Or I may approach other areas of the body first and then go back to those areas later on. Um, but stage, late stage two and early stage three is, is almost like the average patient I do. My feelings, and I hope I say this in, in a humble way, are, are that the surgeon should really have extensive experience in liposuction surgery. Um, also doing a lot of complicated areas like the calves and ankles to really be approaching lipedema patients. Um, and have a lot of experience understanding the, the disease itself, when to do surgery, when to maybe not do surgery, when to delay surgery. The reason it is, is so different, it, it is liposuction. And, and the technique that I use that's a common approach is under local anesthesia with the patient being conscious and using mostly all the time wall, which is a great device and other devices. But what really is so different about it is that you're doing much more complicated areas that most surgeons tend to avoid, like the calves and ankles or the anterior thighs and knees in almost all patients. Um, these are very complicated uh, areas with liposuction. I'm in Beverly Hills and in the surgical center that I operate in, um, there's about a dozen plastic surgeons and, and it is almost never done other than myself um, doing calves and ankle surgery. It's, it's much more particular. It's, it's a very thin layer that occurs very quickly. It's a very fibrotic area. Um, so it really has to be done by a person who has extensive experience in liposuction surgery. It's not straight ahead liposuction. Uh, I then also feel that the area should be done in its entirety all the way around. Um, and to not leave areas of lipedema fat that can become more problematic later on and store fat. So it, it, it is particular, um, the surgery. Um, there are really just a handful of surgeons in the U.S. now who are doing lipedema surgery, and I think that, that it should be a, a, a really careful and slow process in terms of, of surgeons that want to start doing lipedema surgery, um, putting themselves out there. Um, you know, once you start to do that, you are going to see a broad range of lipedema patients. It may be easy for a, certain, a, surgery, a surgeon to do surgery on a stage two patient, but if they're going to start handling stage three and stage four patients um, who are more complicated, they have to have a lot of experience.